Right, y'all. So I have to whack over these donation videos from uh, Aaron and Chelsea and I think maybe a few other people. Um, you might have to wait because I've just got to get through as many as I can. As you've seen, I've been posting like five and over videos per day. There's been some days I've posted like eight. Remember the goal is to get me up to like 10, which I've claimed that I can do every day pretty easily. <laughs> so I guess I've got to hold up on my claims and we're getting there. You know, I started posting, you know, one video a week at the start of the channel, one video every two weeks. So now I get the same views like in the, you know, on multiple videos in the same day. So it is increasing over time. All's well. Um, in this last batch we've got some more subscribers too. So to those new subscribers have a look at the donation round videos that I keep putting out because it shows you the, um, the offers and the services per donation. So that's not this video. This video is going to be for uh, the first ones for Aaron. There's one coming for Chelsea, and I think I'm going to do another one here for Chelsea. Let's put that there as a note. Right. So basically, what I did was I went into the um, health shop and I checked out the what I thought was two different ones as the same kidney tonic. But anyway, let's just watch it. Shop here. <coughs> the last video didn't work. So let's check what's in these. These are both kidney formulas. These are kidney tonic. I'm going to have to eventually buy both of these, but I haven't had the money to. I'm hoping to this donation. So you can see the prices there. <laughs> Guys, remember it's been months since my kidneys got poisoned and they're pretty much back to normal, but I'd really like to just put one of these through me. So that's also what's in the 300 coming, not just $300 for buying more gigabytes. It's $300 just to shore me up. Right, just to keep me flowing, keep me good and healthy, keep everything happening. Uh, hold on, that's the price there. 43, 27. Uh, one of them, I can't remember, another cherry, Chinese yam, uh, alisma, alisma, and poria. Just gotta get those names for when I research as you can see that's the list there actually let's put in Chinese yam and if one of these videos is short I'll whack it into there or maybe do a separate one but anyway I'm just trying to smash these out because I'm so busy like it's unbelievable how busy I am without a job like I am looking for jobs um, and I'm going to the gym all the time and it takes time to ride around and eat when you're homeless as well. So I do have full days every day. It's interesting. <laughs> it's so interesting. Also, another note, um, two mukbang videos exist for the kidneys, which I did with lemon. Because in my opinion, lemon is a powerful dissolver and it dissolves um, a lot of stuff. And if you have kidney problems, it may not be what you want to use. But for me, it was. I wanted to just make sure everything was getting out, stripping before I was starting to build the kidneys. I did that also with garlic soups right at the start when I was poisoned and stuff. And anyway, I think I talked about that in other videos. So let's get into Romania because I want to have a look at Romania. I used to use Romania back when I lived on the uh, North New South Wales coast. Um, I think that's it. Um, down at uh, Nimbin and stuff in Byron Bay, they have a lot of medicine food, and at Nimbin they have a whole tea wall, and the whole wall of teas, man, it's huge, or like two walls. And I used to just go nuts with the teas. They're so good. I felt so good after drinking them for a few months. That was right at the start when I created ConsciousZine.net. 2011, 2012, 2013, 14, around those times. That's when I was really into my health food. Shut up, birds. I remember it tasting a little bit like licorice. It was like, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong though, but I think that's what I remember it tasting like. So anyway, let's have a look into it. 
So the point is we already know these are inner kidney formula. Let's just check out quickly what else they're used for. Thanks again for donating, Aaron. But bone metabolism, interesting. So I mean, it seems to really get in deep. <laughs> Anything that gets into the bones, right? Where your white blood cells are made. That trips me out every time. Anyway, all these things, nausea, gas, diarrhea, headache, heart palpitations, dizziness, vertigo, allergies, and fatigue. But yeah, it's really a good one for the liver. You see the liver mentioned twice. Apparently it increases an upregulation of the estrogen receptor. Here we go. What does it do for kidneys? It decreases the amount of protein in the urine. So I had that for a while. My urine seems to be back to normal now, pretty much. UTI gone. It took three months or something, guys. That's how bad the poisoning was. Uh, and I was, you know, trying to help myself without taking those pills that we just saw. Um, anyway, so I would get like brown piss. That's like gone now. That means a lot of protein in your pee. Yeah, it should be ad ad adrenal. Yes, it does support adrenals. I was about to say because it, it's like a rhizome. Often rhizomes um, help with adrenals and black rhizomes like this. I swear that it was a black rhizome when I took it. Is it good for kidneys? It's, it's a tonifier, so a tonic. That means that you can take it quite often and quite a lot for quite a long time. In other words, it's not like magic mushrooms which you might take once every 10 years. <laughs> You know what I mean? So anyway, let's have a look. And what? What is this? I never heard of this one. Erythropoietin. I'm, I'm not gonna web search it. Oh fuck it, let's web search it. There's a hematopoietin. Poetin. Hematopoietin. Good word, good word. You tripped me up. It's a glycoprotein cytokine. Well, there you go. Stimulates red blood cells in the bone marrow. Right. Look what Wikipedia says about Ramonia. May as well have a look. It's one of the 50 fundamental herbs. Yeah, look, I, I got into it because I remember David Wolf talking about it. Remember his videos? Man, where has he gone? Apparently he's on Telegram. Last time I checked, he was pumping out a lot of stuff on Telegram. I still save those videos, those long longevity talks. I might even publish them on my channel. I don't know, I might get a copyright strike. We'll have a look. Might uh, take some clips from them or something, because they were epic. His women's health conferences were epic, man. They were at the, the forefront of health in the world. There was no one better. And I still haven't seen anything better. What's well, like seven years later or something? He's the guy that created the Nutribullet. Why you see the Nutribullet in all the shops? And goji berries in health shops and coconut oil. He's pretty responsible for that stuff. He made it all big. Yeah, immune system. I just remember like learning about him from him. And then I went and took it and I really liked Romania. Like I just liked the energy. It was, um, seemed to calm me down. Um, so it was like a calmative as well. I don't know if it is officially, but it definitely did that to me. Taking Romania by mouth along with the drug Herbiston might decrease the amount of protein in the urine. Doctor's advice for bad knee. Oh, wait. This is Romania, right? Hold on, let me think. Oh no, I'm thinking of another one. Um, Hoshu Wu. I was thinking of Hoshu Wu for the knees. Because this knee diagrams come up but if that's 
here. I don't know if that is that an ad or oh, it is an ad. Sorry, it's an advertisement. So I was thinking, oh, Romania might be good for the knees as well, like Hoshu Wu, but it was an ad. So you can use it for two months without a problem, they say here. Medication for diabetes. So watch your, watch your medication interactions. When I make these videos, I assume that you guys are healthy and not on medicine. On, on medicine, like, uh, I mean, not on pharmaceuticals. Anti-aging effects by maintaining quiz. Quiescence. Man, what is quiescence? <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. This is from NCBI. Where is it? Where is the word? <laughs> I want to find that word. Where's quiescence? Where'd that word disappear from? Oh, here it is. <laughs> what is this? Sleep like quiescence in adult. Inactivity or dormancy. Inactivity or repose. Tranquility. Yeah, Romania definitely um, gives me that effect. That's all I'm saying. It's like a calmative. So that's what I was just talking about. Oh, and it decreases senescence. Um, cell senescence is yeah general deterioration. That's what I thought. It's one of the major aging things that comes up. That word senescence, you'll hear cell senescence come up when you listen to age reversing lectures. Okay, so that's really good. So it's a longevity herb, in other words. Yeah, and to use that with a stragglers would be heaps powerful. Wow, so they've put, wow, they've put them side by side. A stragglers is where you get a straggler side four which is in uh, Super Pill 1 and 2 by Ron Tiergarten. But Astragaloside 4 has been proven to actually stop the telomeres on the chromosomes from, um, you know, the telomeres on the end of the chromosome from dividing or whatever. So it's a proper anti-aging thing. Uh, we're not going to read all of that. But, yeah, anti-aging. Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's a yin herb. Been used for 2,000 years, so that's how you know it's safe as well. <laughs> you can use something for 2,000 years and, and they're still using it. Okay, so what else has been used for over 2,000 years? Cannabis. <laughs> um, let's have a look here. You can get some side effects, but... You know, that's like, well, you've got to consider when you have side effects of things, what's making the side effect, because a lot of the time it's pa parasites leaving the body, or wigging out and trying to hurt you, instead of leaving the body. It's quite a common thing. Oh, well, it mentioned Ho Shu Wu. I just saw Ho Shu Wu at the bottom. Get out of my way. I just, oh, here it is. Look, Ho Shu Wu. That's a different thing. Anyway, that's what I was talking about before, which is interesting. It mentions it at the bottom of the Romania thing. Because they're like a, a black rhizome, like a sticky sort of black rhizome when I had it. So that's all, all I was, that's why I was reminded of it. This is actually another one. Fuck it, let's do this in, in the same video, guys, because this is, look, this is the exact other one that's uh, on the little list. Where is it? China root. See here? That's that one. So we're just going to, let's just throw this into this one. It's just easier. I've said more. So let's go have a look at that one. video would have been for you anyway Aaron <laughs> thanks so much for donating so much Aaron um, I'm gonna do you some more different videos 
but after this donation round, the business consultation and the health consultation, and anything else I have left over for you, Chelsea, and anyone else, will, I promise, come in this next bracket, because I've finally got time now that I'm homeless, right? All year I was, you know, working and stuff, remember when I was living on the boat, I was very busy. And now I've had this hangover of busyness, getting my license, doing all this stuff, organising all this stuff, and now I've finally got time to do these videos and pay everyone back. So that's where we're up to after an entire year back in Australia. And I'm finally getting over the jet lag and the culture shock, by the way. Like, it's not even completely healed. The PTSD from South America. I swear to you. Alright, let's have a look into this. Yeah, that's how bad it was over there. Alright, uh, it's, it's a fungus, this one. The other one was a rhizome or root. Romania. Wait, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back. The bed here. Uh, it's a root. Root? Yeah, it's a root. There you go. Oops. Uh, let's go there. Alright. So now onto this fungus. Hold on, I'm just going to check I'm still recording. Seems so. Okay. Yep. Alright. Right, so wood decay fungus, most of the, all the fungi that lives on trees and wood you can eat unless it glows in the dark. Doesn't mean they're going to be tasty, but you can eat them. Let's have a look what this one's good for. Amnesia. <laughs> wow. Anxiety, restlessness, fatigue, tension, a lot of stuff in the head. Alright. Sleep problems, insomnia. So that's how I'm going to remember it. I'm going to remember it along the lines of it's going to help my head clear up. Like, I call this meta-saving. I'm not going to remember this entire list. You know what I mean? So what I always do is, because I come across so much information as ConsciousZine.net site creator for the last 10 years, that I meta-save. So I'm going to save this as, okay, I remember this wolf poria thing that was good for the kidneys was also good for clearing out my head. That's basically how I'm going to remember it. Amnesia and, and insomnia. It also does stomach problems, diarrhea, tumours and controlled coughing. Looks like a good one. A mushroom like this, fuck yeah, that does all that. Now let's have a look at their article. It's pretty much summarising it there. There's the other names. China root. Fu Ling, Fu Shen. Well, Shen, remember, Shen energy is coming out of the heart as well. Hongos is Spanish, just means mushroom. I know that after living in Uruguay. Alright, so tinnitus. Well, oh, interesting. TIs take note because a lot of people talk about tinnitus from like directed energy weapons and stuff like this. Might not even be that. Um, I looked into to tinnitus, but I totally forgot. I, I can't remember if there was an ear pressure thing going on or not. So don't quote me. But, uh, kidney function, alright, at least that's mentioned. Because <laughs> remember, that's why we're looking into it. We know that they're good for the kidneys. And all of that stuff. Fluid retention. Interesting. I mean, it looks like it'd be good for the brain because the colour of it and it's a uh, fungi like that. I know you're going to say that's not scientific to say, but actually there's a lot of that kind of jargon in Chinese medicine and stuff. Things look like certain things. Oh, what is it? Is it ginseng, the one that looks like a little human or whatever? I mean, it's in there. People talk like that. I'm not the only one. So when you're like, oh, science, 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 well, you know, other, you know, I'd say real, uh, you know, Chinese herbalists will talk like that. Like, for instance, their whole system is associating colours with, with stuff as well. So I can say what I just said. For instance, you know, like white associated with the lungs and chi. Pretty interesting. Alright, let's have, keep our look here. Right, once daily, 30 minutes. So just before sleep, they recommend it. 
<laughs> That's a so funny question. Yeah, it might take a week or two to start kicking in. Black fungus, that, this is not black fungus. Black fungus is something else. This is not black fungus. Black fungus has, um, it's the one I've gone on about a few times on the channel, it has melanin for your skin. It's one of the only foods I've found to have melanin. Not melatonin, but melanin. This is not the same thing. This is not black fungus, is it? No, because black fungus looks different. Right, we've got to have a, have a look here. I'm sure it's not black fungus. It's known as fuling. Polyporeaceae fungi. Belonging to dry sclerotium. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's, let's see if we can find some more information. Fuling, any dangers, Let's go to NCBI because they have good articles. Might have something in it. I always talk about gonodermas. I don't know why it's spelled like that. I thought it was G O. <coughs> Do the research thing on that. Quite rich in hydrates, digestible protein, essential amino acids. Don't forget beta glucans. I don't see that mentioned. I don't know why it's going into these mushrooms here, boletus and stuff. In in inonutus, oblicus. I don't know why it's going into that. Not really relative. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, don't forget polysaccharides, what they are. Right? It's a, a sugar. But a long chain sugar just before it turns into an oil. So, my point is that you don't have that. I, I don't think you have the same set up in a lot of fruits. A lot of fruits are like saccharides, like uh, shorter chain and not as poly as mushrooms because mu that's why the mushroom's harder as well. I almost think of it as a crystallization process because it comes from sweet water in nature. You get basic sugars like xylitols in trees and stuff and then they pump out a mushroom with polysaccharides on the side of the tree. Uh, there's nothing in here. Nutritionally is what I'm looking for. Include promoting urination, which is, you know, one thing I needed for, if you have kidney problems, you'll have UTI as well, urinary tract infection at the same time. I don't know what did mine, probably E. coli, because I have a feeling there was toilet water in, in my poisoning. Anyway. Not much there. Let's have a look here. talk about electron doning and stuff when they talk about mushrooms and um, red redox potential which I fucking I still don't know what the fuck redox potential is I remember I looked into it I didn't save it I couldn't figure it out properly something to do with um, I think antioxidation and electron doning that's about all I could understand. I laughed because I remember researched into it and like really looked into it and I still couldn't exactly figure it out. 
but I think that's what it means. That's probably what they're going on about. Because that's something I always see talked about when they do mushroom assays. Thus, the primary functions of inflammation, of anti-inflammation, are the elimination of pathogens and cell repair. But effective inflammation resolution and restoration of, of homeostasis are essential for preventing inflammation, inflammatory disorders. Um, zinc, this and that. Here we go. I oh, know. I thought it was going into redox, but it's rots. I don't know if they're saying that this much. Oh, here we go. Mushrooms are valued uh, functional foods used for. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I don't know what that is. Hypo uh, cholesterol and anti proliferative effects. Like they clean shit up a bit. Gastritis, nephrosis, what's that again? Because that's what. Yeah, so that's what I had. Um, that's what I thought. It reminded me of the nephrils in the kidney. So nephrotic syndrome is often caused by damage to small blood vessels in my kidney. And that's what happened to me. I filter waste and excess from the blood. So good. So this is at exactly for that. Oh, that, that's the go. This, my friends, is worth the $30 easily. You know why? Because I went to the doctor and he couldn't tell me this. I was specifically asking him, what can I do to fix the nephrils? And I looked into it and stuff, and he's like, I don't know. <laughs> so, I do, and we've just read it, right? There you go. That's why you guys donate to me. Doctors don't know everything. The shaman doctor has to come in sometimes. But that'll do for me. Um, that's all, that's, that's where I wanted to go with it. If it helps the nephrils, um, that's actually the thing I've been looking for. So I definitely I should have taken these pills. Um, thanks a lot um, again for donating. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for those two for this video. We'll get another video soon because it's been half an hour. I need to have a break. Go eat something. Thanks a lot, Aaron. Um, you've been, you know, very very valuable to the channel and everybody should like this video and thank him like i'd love to see someone to say hey, thanks aaron for helping the channel out i mean he deserves it he's donated hundreds of dollars so many times in critical situations mind you when i like really needed it and wanted it so yeah you've been good to me aaron and i hope this one helps if you ever get kidney damage and don't forget you know you can use these things as preventatives as well pre not post damage because they're tonifiers anyway they're tonics anyway